Hello, hello. Right, let's find my video. Mm -hmm. Happy Thursday, everybody. Off on holiday this week, so I'm just sneaking on with a little attempt at April's um, challenge, which is to do a shirt card. So I had a little practice run. This shirt's kind of... Keek, but never mind, I am um, going to give it a go anyway. So, what do we need? We need a piece of cardstock that measures 8 inches by 3 and a half. Okay, and then score it at 4 or fold in half. So it's a 4 by 3 and a half size card. Uh, this would go in a 5 by 5 envelope. Hello ladies, I'm just sneaking on. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a piece of 6x6 designer series paper. So I've got these lovely colours here. I think I'll go for, I think I'll go for this plaid blue. This is Pacific Point. Okay, so this is what I've kind of come up with. So we're going to cut this down to 3.5 inches. Three and a half inches. Now, I, I'm sure there's other ways. Hi, Janice. Hi, Jane. Hi, Astrid and Anne. I'm sure there's an easier way to make a shirt card. Um, but this is how I've figured it out in my, my um, tired little head today. We're trimming a six by six down to three and a half. Okay. What we're going to do with this is we're going to take it in an inch, an inch down and take it in an inch and then the same again, another inch. So we're going to cut there, there, there and there. So pop it two inch on your trimmer, take it along to the one inch mark, do the same on the other side. If there anybody has, hi Tammy, hi Linda, you can call me whatever you like today, <laughs> as long as it's not pat. Okay, just pop that along to the one inch, do it again. So I thought I'd better come on because um, if I'm asking you lovelies to um, try a shirt card, whether it's origami fold or using your other um, the well suited dies, um, I thought I'd better come on and do it myself as well. So with this other strip, I'm going to cut two pieces that are an inch and a half in height and width. So two squares we need basically. Hi Karen, let's do that with this one, I have so much of this paper that I need to use up, it is unbelievable. Right, so this is what we've got, so what we do is, let me check my prototype, what we do is we fold this first um, section over, okay, and what you want to do is you want to fold in because we've cut into one inch at each side, fold those in till it meets. Hi Tina. And then just burnish it. Okay, we're then going to, is it that way? Hang on. No, fold it over like that, back in itself there and then, right, hang on. See, I should have practiced this uh, more than once. So fold down, that goes over like that. Ah, and then these go back away, that's what it is. So I did do it right. Okay, so let me do that again. So we've cut in an inch here, an inch here, an inch here, and an inch here. Tammy saying that is the new DSP for the camera. Oh, thank you. Tammy, you've reminded me I had to look these out. I had to look these out. I did see, um, thank you, hun, because I do have quite a bit of it. Okay, so fold the first flap over, fold the corners in to meet each other, turn it over, and then we're just going to um, fold these excess bits in at the back. So just a bit of tape. I've had the most wonderful, wonderful bath this afternoon. So I went from one pair of pyjamas into another. Tammy's saying this is why I joined... 
Oh, brilliant. <laughs> the little cheer up. Right, so this is our shirt um, template, all right? So all we need to do is we need to just pop a little bit of glue to keep it down. I've seen some people do um, a different line for inside at the, at the collar mark there, but I'm just using a double-sided designer series paper. Now these bits we are going to stick on, but with the opposite print. I'm just going to stick them on like so. Tammy says mine's is coming. Brilliant. So we need some tape here and some tape there. And I think it's nice with the contrast. So it's almost like a waistcoat. Okay, so we're just popping that on there. So there's one sleeve. And I'll stick the other one on. So all I'm doing is putting the point to the edge there and lining it up. And then we've got a little shirt. Isn't that fab? I was going to try and do it with the uh, flowers for every season. But I thought, hmm, not sure, not sure. But some of these would be look nice as Hawaiian shirts. Um, quite funky patterns. So if you've got a male theme card that you want to do, um, for someone that likes a good fancy shirt, then that's a perfect pack to do that. I'm just checking for some comments here. Right, so this is why the card is three and a half by four, because this just fits snug on here. And when we open it up, it just kind of sits like that. Okay, so one more thing I want to do is... Um, if you have other scrap pieces of um, designer series paper, you could cut a little strip to make a tie. So let's go with a um, gorgeous great tie. So I'm going to do half an inch. Doesn't matter what length, just whatever length you want the tie to be. Okay, and then what we need to do is just cut little bit off each side trying to get it straight Trisha so it's not all lopsided there we go and what we're going to do is we are just going to pop it under there like so and there's the wee tie okay so I'm just going to pop a little bit of the sticky stuff there okay if I can pick this up sorry my nails are actually getting almost too long Right, so I'm just going to pop that there. Awesome! If you didn't want a tie, you could put little embellishments or draw a black line down here to get some, like the shirt line, and put some buttons on there. I am just going to use um, the tie. You could put something here as well, maybe if it was a lady's blouse. Now that would look quite nice as well. And you could, you could trim the inside here so that it's purple as well. I think I might do that actually. Why not? Yeah, I'm just going to fold that in to see what template I need. Isn't it good when you just make, make things up as you go? It's the best way to learn, I think. I have never, ever made a shirt card. Ever. So I'm quite happy that I managed to figure that out. <laughs> there will be easier ways to do it, most definitely. Okay, hi everybody. Seen some new names on here. Right, so I want this to stick down now, so I'm just going to open up the collar, add a little bit of the um, Stampin' Seal Plus, and then pop it down like that. I think that's quite adorable. Now, these look quite fat, so what I've done on my um, pretend one, well, my practice one, sorry, was I had cut um, a little section off, and I think that looks quite nice. I'm not going to do as big a gap, so you just want to trim a little triangle off, and it just makes it look a little bit more realistic. And then, hi Cindy, hi Janice! I'm using the lines on the DSP to um, guide me. So there we go. 
Right, what I'm going to do now is I am going to stick this on my card base. Now, there's a little bit of excess card here. I'm going to trim that down, but what you could do, um, what I might do actually, I might just add a belt on. So, let me um, get some st oh, stamp and seal plus on here. Be careful because it can actually tear your paper. It's that sticky. Right. So, what am I going to do? So, I need to line it up as straight as I can. Butterfingers today. I have had such a relaxing day. Had a big spurt of energy this morning. Done some um, spring cleaning. It felt awesome. Who else have we got here? I've got Alice in. That's awesome. So yeah, there's a little smidgen here, um, but that's easy enough to um, sort. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a belt on. Now you could use a brown for um, a leather belt, but I think for this one I think I'll use black. And you know what I actually have? I do have, um, but I've put it away with my stuff that's retiring. I do have, um, you know, the little the little belt buckles that you get with the, um, uh, oh, goodness, what one is it now? Wait to show you. Somebody help me out. Help me out. Hi, Sue. Right, where is, this is our current catalogue, so I'm looking for embellishments. And... The world of good sweet. That's what I'm thinking. So these here. So these would be perfect. I am actually going to use mine um, when I come round to making um, a couple of father, Father's Day cards. Most definitely. Right, we know the width of the card is three and a half. So I am just going to, I would say, I'm going to do a centimetre. And then cut it down to three and a half. Come on, butter fingers. So you could pop that along the bottom and it looks like a little belt. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my wet glue. World of good, yes. Thank you, Tammy. I love it when we get a new catalogue, but you know what? It takes me so long to remember all the new names. And then I always get mixed up for about three months, <laughs> maybe even longer. And then, um, then I remember, and then a new catalogue comes out, and I'm like, oh, more, 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 more. Right, okay, so this is just a little bit too long. Okay, so we also have, let me tell you what would be good. You know the all dressed up dies? We have a buckle type um, die in there also. Right, I'll show you that now. Obviously, I'm not going to die cut anything um, today, I don't think, but I might just eat my words. So, this is the all dressed up dies. Is it the all dressed up dies? Yes, it is. And you can see we've got this little. Um, Tammy's saying, oh, geez, all mixing inches and centimetres in the same piece of paper. <laughs> I know, it was out my mouth before I, before I could take it back. <laughs> right, I am going to die cut out a little buckle. Now, these are little buckles for the little handbag straps. Okay, but it just shows you can mix and match your products with any project. So, perfect. I'm going to get my mini stamping cotton emboss machine. And I am going to... What colour do you think this little buckle should be, guys? Grey? I think grey. Yeah, let's go for grey granite. Nice uh, neutral colour so it's not going to clash too much. Okay, so there's green granite, and I just need my little plates. 
for this. I'm so glad that I've decided to pop on because it's nice to chat, chat to you all. I feel like I've not chatted in ages. Right, so. Where is the little die? Now you get two of these, so technically you could cut up to four at the one time. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that through. I've never used them. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> you're funny. Right, let's do this. I hope everybody's well. I have not used all my ink pads. You haven't? Wow. Now, if I was clever enough, I would have um, fed that through the little sh the little buckle mark things first. The little buckle dies even. Put your teeth back in, Trisha. So, what I'm going to do to improvise is I... Oh, you have used them all. No, not no. <laughs> right, put them away, Trisha. Right, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this. Or should I pop it on? You know what, I'm just going to stick it on. And that fits pretty good. Right, so if you've got fine, eh, fine art glue, fine tip glue, you could use that. Okay, all I'm doing is going to line it up with the tie because the tie is pretty, pretty centred. You can see just by luck that centimetre strip fits in there nice. Tina's saying, um, oh, Tammy's saying her W doesn't want to type. Well, that's not so good. That's not so good. Tina's been busy cutting foliage for a Zoom workshop on Saturday off Fab Hun. So they're all been busy. So, there is the little shirt card. Now, you could, um, this was actually, the idea was actually inspired by one of the ladies in the group. Um, I did mention her, is it Diane? Diana? Uh, I mentioned her on the, the challenge flyer um, for April. Um, so, it was her lovely shirt card that inspired me to set the challenge for April. So, please do have a little go. Um, you could always watch this back, or if you've got an easier way, bash on, and uh, you could always let us know if there's another kind of origami style um, way of folding that's quite easy. Right, so what I'll do is, um, you could add a little pocket on here. Okay, now what you could do, let me see, let me see the purple. What I'll do is, I'm just going to cut a little square, and all we need to do is just a tiny gradual little triangle snippet off each side. It's a bit wonky, but that's fine. And then you can pop that on there. Now, if I put glue just around the edges, Let's see what pattern. I think I'll go with the same pattern as the inside of the, the collar. So I'll just put some whoops, glue on the outside. Line that up. This is good. I'm fairly liking this. Okay, and then if you've got a piece of scrap white, you could always cut out a little hanky. So you would just need a smaller square for a wee hanky and you could just tuck this in because you haven't glued it flush. You could just tuck that in like so. I'll just leave it in like there. That's it. It's not the straightest hanky but what hanky is. And I think that looks fab. Now in terms of sentiment you could put a circular piece here and stamp. Or you can put dad on here, or brother, or son, with maybe the uh, playful alphabet dies. Or you can just put a, a stamp along there, if you're using a lighter colour. Or um, you can just pop something in the inside. So, I thought that was quite nifty from one sheet of 6x6 six six plus some scraps of other pieces. Um, Cindy's saying cute. Oh, thank you. Not bad for a first attempt. 
So you can see why I, um, this was my first attempt. Um, <laughs> it's a bit wonky. It's got a big body, tiny arms. <laughs> but um, yeah, I cut that down so it was a three and a half inch um, width. So I thought that's quite good and that goes into um, a five by five envelope. If you have that, let's see. So, oh, let's just nip it at five. But usually the five by five envelopes are more like five and one eighth. Mm, and that's by five and a half. So I would say a six by six just to be just to be on the safe side. Um, you can adjust it so it's thinner and goes into a C6 envelope. Um, I think that's a, a fair uh, fine size. So I would encourage you to please take part in the challenge. Um, I am doing out, um, doing my post tomorrow for Royal Mail, um, where the three names chosen from um, last um, month's challenge, which was the Inky Backgrounds, um, your freebies will be sent tomorrow. Um, and then this is a challenge, like I say, running for April. Please do get involved. Um, I will pick out. Um, three names again to receive some free um, goodies from me it could be current um, products it could be stuff that's retiring it could be retired but I'm sure you would be able to put it to good use anyway so that is that I hope you've enjoyed watching thanks everybody for coming on um, even though it was a wee ad hoc and I just jumped on on the off chance um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Thursday um, and I'll speak to you all soon um, I'll miss you on Saturday because I'm at a Stampin' Up! online event. So it will be a weekend on Saturday before I speak to you all again. Okay? Thanks again, everyone. And um, please try and join in. I would love you forever. Bye now.